I don't know if you remember, but a uh, couple videos ago, I was talking about how I had a leak behind this mat, and you can see the water right there. And so I'm squeezing out of the pad that's back there, and somehow I gotta dry that out. I think I'm gonna have to prop it up and get a fan going. But anyway, what was happening was in here, <clears throat> In the windshield washer uh, or windshield wiper gully, the two, well, three weep holes or drain holes. There's one there. You can see I took this rod, this coat hanger, pushed it right through and pushed the blockage out of that one. Kind of caused a little bit of damage to my screen here, but you know, uh, we can just fix that like that. There we go. And damage gone and on this side there's a tube right here this tube that I cleaned out and it was filled with gunk and what was happening was the water was uh, pooling up in here and somehow getting behind on the inside of the firewall going down it and coming out from underneath that mat and it was doing it on both sides. And right now I'm still running a test to make sure. But you can see here, this, this weep hole right here, it's on this far side down here, was actually sealed over. The person before had, had sealed it over, probably trying to stop it and couldn't figure out that it was actually coming from within here. So I cleaned it out using this coat hanger and I just straightened it out and punched it right through the weep hole over here, in here, and cleaned it out. And now it's evacuating the water as quickly as it goes in. You can see it coming out right there. I don't know if you can get a shot of that. Yeah, there you go. But right now I'm just running a test to make sure that that in fact was everything about it. Alright, for the crawl weep hole, there is not only this one right here, but there is one beneath this plate, way over here in this back corner, uh, that you can uh, run a um, a coat hanger down through and clean it out and that solved all of that now the next thing is when water comes down the outside of the firewall it's now getting in through there through those gaps on uh, the heater core hose connections and I'll have to solve that next So, yesterday I was talking about the weep holes that are in the cowl up here, and I found one that was here, two on that side, and I thought that was it. But then I found that there's another one, a fourth one, beneath this plate over about here. And I'm going to have a video of getting back into that and showing you where that is. But when I cleaned that out, I was still getting a leak because water was coming out of here and going right through the worn out seal around the heater core. If you look at that right there, it is absolutely chewed up and water is getting into there and dripping down behind this back plate right or a piece of plastic with fiber on the back I forget what it is but anyway I have it propped up to dry it, get some air underneath there and dry it out so I solved the one problem with it not draining from this side of the cowl beneath this plate 
only to find out that my leak was coming from there. So I need to figure out how to seal that without taking the heater core out and going through a heater core seal replacement. I don't know if you can see that. But it is right there. And uh, it's kind of, how would we say? Uh, you see how it's all chewed up? Right there. And how there's a big old gap on the top one. And that's where the water's getting in behind the firewall on my system. So, lovely. We're gonna go in here and I'm gonna show you where that other weep hole is that's way over here. That you can't seem to find unless you take off the wheel well backing, the side panel, and, and get on through there. So first thing is we need to move the wiper. It's pretty easy, you just lift up on the wiper. There's a little detent down here. You pull that out. There we go. That's the latching clip. When it's out, the windshield wiper will be held up. And now, as gently as you can, wiggle it off like so. And there's a little the wiper hose unplug that from right here from the nozzle right there arm so it only goes on one way so you don't have to worry about it going on wrong the next thing is well someone put caulking thinking that this was the problem that they were having where the, where the leak was coming from someone put a bunch of caulking there the other day I took my razor blade and I got it underneath it and I removed it from this plate so that we can get that plate off. Now, it's a uh, Torx nut. It is the T15 Torx nut. And it is used on this. your windshield washer line right here and it goes through the cowl and there's a little nut on the inside that holds it in place and it's it's like pressed on it doesn't turn on so I use the like this got in behind it and just wiggled it back and forth until it came out and then to make sure I didn't lose it I just put it right back, right back on it like that. 
And that gets this out of the way of this plate right here. So now I'm going to take my plastic uh, molding and just move that up to get it above this rubber and then slide it out of the way. So I'm going to put that right over here. So let's see if I can get you a good shot of this. So that that drain hole is right about here. So if you go over like so, you can kind of start it in there. But if you put a just a little bend in the wire, in the coat hanger, and you go in like that, see I'm in it now. Cleaning it out. can't do any more. But that's where that one is. And the reason I know that that now works is instead of the water coming into my cab through different means around this call and backing up in here and overflowing on on the uh, on the far side, you, you got to look into it. And I can't get the camera in there. And if I had a, sc a bore scope, I'd use that to show you. Um, but uh, instead of the water going into my cabin, it now comes out down there, all the way down there, and you can see it coming out over here and I can show you here in a second. So what I'm going to do is get that. Take it put it like that. You can see also some of the ceiling is cracked. Take you. through here yesterday. So, if you look down in there, you can see that that is where that weep hole comes out. Down there. Another thing while I was in here that I noticed, if you look, there's a crack on that seal from the factory. It kind of stops, or well, gets really small there, but it's pretty large right there. And I bet that's also letting in some water as well. So probably a good idea to check those out and see if they need to have some new sealant put on them. Um, while you're in here cleaning out this fourth one this fourth weep um, drain hole so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put dry this up and then put uh, better sealant on it some more sealant So this is inside the crawl, call where I have that crack right here in the factory uh, silicone or whatever uh, sealant right there, and I want to put some more 
uh, mine and fill in that crack that's happening to make sure that no more water is coming. You can, I can't get a finger in there and actually point to it, so I'm using what I use to clean out the, uh, the drain holes in the cull to point it out. Here's another shot of that crack. You can see it right here. And it goes up, right up into here. Kind of, pee, it kind of stops right here, but starts right here, goes all the way down, and spiders off in different directions around here in the shade, which you probably can't see. But if you look at the tip right here, what you can see in frame is from here, Right about here, it starts and goes down. Let's see if we can swing you. There you go. That's a little bit better. You can see right there. Right there. And there's another piece of it cracked right there. So I'm going to use. Uh, some RTV sealant and uh, I gave it a slight angle on the nozzle slight angle on the nozzle so that I can get a nice bead down that crack but I'm gonna let the crack dry out some more before I put this on because I want it nice and dry I want this stuff to go in that and seal it up really nice. All right, so I don't know if you could see in there, but uh, I've put some, I've sealed up those cracks that are in there with some RTV. 